Hi there, it's real estate coach Josh Fegan and welcome to this week's coaching tip. Today I want to talk to you about an important thing and it's about really understanding what the customer wants. You see, an interesting situation happened and one of my clients was actually in a listing presentation and on the other side was another one of my clients. Now they got the, all the way through the listing presentation and then they worked out that they actually had me in common. And this particular client was all the way down in a completely different state or location, but had actually come up to sell a family home. And he was actually put in the position of being an executor. Now my client was in a position where he was out there and he's doing the listing presentation and he gets to the point of signing and the other client says, hey, well, you know, let us think about it overnight. And then he, what he does is that they leave the house and my client then picks up the phone, rings me and goes, I don't think I'm gonna get that listing. Now the other client rings me at this point and says, hey, I wanted to give you a quick call, give you some feedback about your client. I'm like, okay, tell me more. He goes, well, he was absolutely exceptional about listing the property. He was great about understanding all the steps and the processes that needed to go through, but he was awful about understanding me and my needs. I said, okay, great, tell me a little bit more about that. He said, well, I'm actually an executor of a will. You can imagine that's a highly emotional time because we're actually selling a loved one's property, you know, but we're also in a position that we've got some beneficiaries. And some of those beneficiaries might not get along, I'm not really gonna have a lot of time to do this, and I need someone to take the pressure off me. And I just don't feel that the agent that came out to my property actually understood that. And I said, okay, great, so what could we do to improve the customer experience? He said, well, when he found out that I was an executor, what are some natural and logical questions? Have you been an executor before? Are there any beneficiaries? Do any of the beneficiaries actually wanna try and buy the home? Off the back of that, are you in a position that you need me to help alleviate any pressure or stress for you so that we can help the transaction to come together? We then moved in the conversation to then starting to think, well, if you're gonna be based in a completely different state throughout the course of the campaign, what can I do to maybe have someone who comes in to prep the property prior to the open homes and to actually make sure that everything is on point so that we can maximize the sale price? You see, this is really about getting to understanding what is the job that the customer is actually trying to get done. And it's not just in selling the house because there's a whole range of other circumstances that you now need to navigate. Now this is what we call life cycle marketing, imagining the different stages that we go through in life and what the challenges are that are associated with that and how we can zoom specifically into fixing those specific challenges. So for me, this is about shifting the conversation. It's about understanding that to be really truly great around what you do, you must drill into what the challenges are the customer is facing. Are there specific issues or challenges that we should be aware of and what can we do to alleviate those? If you alleviate more of those challenges for the customer, you are the logical choice. And it's very important that you actually deliver on that service. I really hope that you've enjoyed this week's coaching tip and I look forward to seeing you next week.